Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to restore our files using rsync from a Synology NAS to a Linux PC. Now this is a follow up to our last two videos where we looked at how to set up an rsync command and how to automate that command so it runs daily using SSH keys and cron. If you haven't seen them, I'll leave two links in the description so you could check them out before watching this video. As always, I also have a link in the description with full written instructions that will show you how to do this. So to get started, we have all of our files currently living on our Synology NAS. So we used our rsync command to back up the files there already. At this point, we're going to look into setting up an rsync command so that we can restore those files onto a fresh version of Linux. But before we do that, I want to quickly explain rsync and the backup and restore commands. So the main thing that I want to show is that we initially set up our rsync command with our command line parameters but then we specify a source directory and a destination directory. So basically all of the files in our source directory will be sent to our destination directory when we run this command. And after it runs initially, it will only move incremental changes moving forward. So if a file already exists and it hasn't changed, it won't be copied over. In many cases, the only thing that you need to do to restore a folder or a file is to actually flip this command. So since we're only doing our home directories, we just have to put the folder directory where our files are stored first, and then the destination home folder second. Now I wanna highlight that while we did not specify a username folder in our first backup command, if you check out the second command, we have to actually restore a different folder because it compiled all of our files and folders and put them in one directory. I'll also highlight a little later why the final forward slash in our restore command is very important. Now, the last thing that I want to point out is that a lot of times you'll back up your entire root directory, but you're not going to be able to actually restore that entire root directory using rsync. And the reason for that is because most of these files and folders have unique permissions. And if you simply restore the root directory and completely overwrite everything, you're going to destroy that permission structure. So you're really only going to use rsync if you're actually restoring personal files. Now that's not to say that you can't go and look for a config file and see what was in that config file because you can. And you can even probably restore individual config files. It's just that in mass, you're not going to be able to back up your root directory on one Linux machine and then restore it to another and expect the same functionality. So I'm just going to quickly show you after running the backup command where the files are stored on my Synology NAS. And then I'm going to SSH into my NAS and I'm going to show you exactly where the folders and files are stored. So I put a bunch of dummy files on this virtual machine and I'm going to restore it from a snapshot so that I could go back to a fresh version of Linux. So now that all of our files are backed up, we know where they are and we have our fresh version of Linux installed, I'm going to run a basic rsync command as a test with the n parameter to ensure that I'll be restoring the correct information. Now you'll see that our backup command created a folder with our username and stored all of our documents in that one folder. So we need to actually restore that entire folder to our home directory on our new Linux install. And you need to ensure that you add a forward slash to the end of that folder path because if you don't, you'll restore the entire folder on the new Linux machine to the username rather than to the actual home directories. So now that I showed you what will happen if you don't include that last forward slash, I'm just going to quickly delete that folder and I'm going to restore the files to the home directory itself. And then I'm going to run the command. After the command finishes running, you'll see that we can go to our documents or our downloads folder and we'll be able to access some of the old files that we had that were not on our fresh version of Linux when we initially installed. This shows that the files that we had stored on our Synology NAS were now properly restored to our new Linux install. Now the last thing that I want to say is that rsync is not a tool for doing a bare metal restore. Meaning that if you want to take all of your files and folders from one location on a Linux machine and add them to another, and you expect it to look the exact same, you have to actually clone the drive using something like Clonezilla, or you have to take a bare metal backup using something like Veeam. So in my next video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a bare metal backup on a Linux machine using Veeam, and then I'm going to restore it. So you'll see that you're taking a full backup 
and then you're able to restore that entire full backup over to a new machine and it will function the exact same way as it did on the first machine. So that wraps up the video for today. If you had any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.